Okay, this is a B and K 500. We call it a DynaQuick tube tester, and uh, we're going to go through the procedure for uh, making calibration adjustments. Right now, I have uh, a vacuum tube voltmeter hooked up on the one and a half volt scale. That's uh, volts RMS AC, and I've connected it to the terminal number five here, which is the low bias. Uh, terminal and one of the grounds and we want to adjust this to one and a half volts RMS and in order to do that we're going to need a screwdriver let's grab one here we go okay and uh, as I make an adjustment here we can see the change happening over here on the vacuum tube voltmeter and we want this adjusted to one and a half volts and uh, oh, a little too far set that up about like that and that is <clears throat> R19 is the pot number I believe maybe it's R14 yes R14 the one next to it is uh, R9 I believe and that is going to be set at 2.9 uh, volts DC and to do that we'll disconnect our vacuum tube voltmeter and then connect a uh, Amprobe brand digital voltmeter there and <clears throat> this guy here needs to be adjusted to DC scale 2.9 volts and that's done by adjusting this and you can see the result there. It's it's quite a fine adjustment. I'm making turns that are probably well. Let's see. At one end of the scale, we've got probably around 2.80, and the other end we're up to probably uh, 2.95 or better. So somewhere in the middle there, we'll get ourselves a 2.90 adjustment. Close enough. Now. Going up the uh, resistor chain, there's a voltage divider network here, and we have this one at 2.9. The next one, the terminal above it, is supposed to be at 8.1. This shows 8.05. And then the next one should be about 18.1, and we're showing this at 18.15. Now, in order to get here, we had to do some resistor changes. This is a precision 1000 uh, ohm resistor here. This guy here uh, happens to be just dead on. It's supposed to be a 12K uh, uh, resistor. And uh, actually, it's drifted up to about 12.8K. But we changed out these two selenium rectifiers here to uh, silicone diodes. And they have uh, less forward drop. So we had a couple three extra volts here, and it just turns out <clears throat> that this resistor is drifted high enough to uh, compensate for that just perfectly. So um, what we're left with is the, the DC uh, bias voltage that we wanted. Let's just stop there.